What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII, the journey of the Cursed King. Once again, to me, the Lonesome Raft. Now, guys and gals, you join me on our little journey now, straight off to Bloody Pick'em, as we instantly get into a monster battle, what a no surprise, uh, against a bow. And, um, yeah, so really, I mean, I was trying to think if there's anything else we need to really introduce at this point, but no, we don't really need to. We just sort of head straight off with, over to Pick'em if we can. I can imagine the majority of this episode will be the journey and then kind of like the exploring a little bit of Pick'em. Um, as Pick'em actually does have a fair amount of like little nooks and crannies you have to kind of have to explore around and stuff, but all, all good, I guess, in the end. Part, I'm, I'm, I'm so burpful today. Jesus Christ. Um, sorry, guys. Anyhow, we've got four gold coins. What else that is? Jesus Christ. These guys have been stingy on us now. Um... But yeah, no, guys and gals, I hope you guys have a nice 2017 so far and ready for a nice journey to Pukum right now and stuff. I know there will be a couple of chests and stuff I may potentially miss along the way. I have got the chest down there to the left, by the way, on the beach, by the way. I've already got that and cleared out the enemy, too. Um, I did that in a previous, like, two episodes ago. Well, actually, probably about three episodes ago now, to be fair. Um, my mum appeared. Hello, mum. Um, but, uh, I think these guys are classed as metal. We have metal bodies. I will see, we'll see if they're classed as that. Um, but, um... Yeah, I mean, sort of like, uh... What am I out of Yeah, so the chest and stuff. Yeah, so I will get the chest and stuff later on after we've been to... Ooh, that's a... Well, cheeky attempt there, Angela, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Oh, okay, it's not really clear. Okay, that's cool. Uh... Yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna get all the chests and stuff which are out and about near Pick'em later on and stuff, like I did before. Uh, just sort of like the same thing I sort of did for a scan for an electric bang. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a little bit weird after finishing a scan for. Um, like, recently, like, before, I was trying to explain kind of what I meant I just remembered who we're gonna see on the way. Oh my god. Man, fuck a scanfer. We're about to meet the best bloody character in the game. Not we we sh we should we should meet him this episode, I think. There's no reason I don't think we should meet Oh my god, I'm excited now. I completely forgot about Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm, I'm pretty down. This is my New Year's treat. This is my I'm, I'm a, I, I, I generally have a slight tears in my eyes right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fucking excited for this bad boy. Anyway, um What was I gonna say? Uh yeah, no, there's, uh, oh my god, I can't figure what to say. Yeah, no, I'll clear out all the, um, extra governors and stuff, like, after we've finished our special shebang with this, after, after we've been to a big pick and all that shebang too. But, um, yeah, no, anyway, so I have a bit of a weird kind of taste in my mouth at uh, the moment after, um, a scan for, because I, I just feel like it just, I don't know, it's very quick, it was very brief, there wasn't really much of a challenge there, I don't know, and I, I don't know if, if Wisher Peak is meant to be a challenge, I was kind of meant to be a brew up. To pick them because the, the dungeon to pick them is actually generally very very difficult. Uh, that did cause me a lot of issue when I very first the very first time I ever tried to go through it. Um, actually, I believe the first place we should see here is like a little mini inn. I think is that's what that, that thing is there. I'll try and get to it because I think there's a couple of uh, decent items inside of it, or at least a merchant. I think I'm not too sure. I know I know it's something we can then come to later on. It's like I think it's a cheapish place to sleep. I'm not I'm not too sure, but um. Yeah, uh, what's he say? Um, no, I don't know, I just feel, I feel a bit weird after finishing the scan for, I don't know why, I, I don't feel unhappy, I generally don't feel unhappy, I mean, I, I know you guys might be a little like Jordan, you complain about it a lot, shut the fuck up, but like, I, I generally, generally don't feel unhappy or angry at it, I was happy the way it came out, I, was, I felt satisfied, kind of, I don't know, I, I, I know we will be back, and I, I keep saying that to you guys, and I know the majority of you guys are very tired of me saying that now, but I don't know, I, I just feel, I don't know, I feel, I feel weird, I feel slightly and odd about it all and stuff, I don't know why. I don't know, I, gen I generally have no idea why. It's really weird. Alright. I don't understand why he does this. Like, performs an exciting tale to psych us up. Like, yeah, we'll just do more damage to you. Like, not too sure that's really beneficial to yourself, because you now died, but cool. Alright. But, um... Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how it came out. I'm happy we kind of got it done, I guess, because it's very, very brief, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I, don't, I don't really know. I, I, I'm trying to explain how I feel, but I generally don't know how I feel as well. I don't. I don't want you guys to come off that I'm actually criticizing the game at all because I don't. The only thing I criticize with Scan for, I just feel like it's a very short period of time. I know we'll be back. I know it kind of like it probably in all fairness, I might. Oh, I think the reason I've got this kind of weird gut feeling is because I know we'll be back. I feel like we should be doing that now. Um, it's the reason I feel like that is just because I I, ha I haven't done this like this whole set like this whole game in a while. So. Um, I'm sort of feeling like I should be doing something. I don't know. I feel like I should be doing something now, but I shouldn't be. If that makes sense. I don't know. I just have the weird feeling. I'm gonna shut up about it. So keep jabbering on about it. But um, yeah. Anyway, guys and guys. One thing I did want to mention in an episode, which I completely forgot to mention in the past couple of episodes, is um recently one of the games I've been playing, which is a big game of mine at the moment because for some reason I'm addicted to it, is I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders as of late. Now, guys and guys, I don't know if you guys, as you guys are, presumably fans of the Dragon Quest series, might know what Dragon Quest Builders is. Now, um. 
Obviously, recently the Dragon Quest games have kind of came a little bit off the not off the rails per se. They've just been kind of going on, on a different kind of path per se, because um, they're kind of gone with the whole. I don't really know how you kind of word it. Like, I mean, they're just gone a little bit different because obviously. Dragon Quest Heroes is more of like a Dynasty Warriors kind of style game, and obviously you've got stuff like, um, nice stuff. Dragon Quest Builders, which is a bit more of like kind of Minecraft kind of style one, I'd like to say. Um, and yeah, I don't know, it's, just, it's, 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 it's an unusual game, it really is, compared to like what Dragon Quest only is and stuff, but it's fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys have not played it before, um, now obviously this is coming from someone that really did enjoy uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, which in all fairness, take it as you will, because I know a lot of you guys didn't, because I did hear from you guys... I think Adam said he didn't enjoy it, I think it is, or it's some, one of you guys did mention why he didn't enjoy it or something like that, and uh, I just, I don't know, I'm hoping I kind of stole something from him then, um, but no, it's like, it's good, I really, really enjoy it, because it's such a, in my mind, it's kind of a unique take on the Dragon Quest series, and it feels just so, uh, it's, it's got everything that, like, Minecraft is missing in my books, and it's just, it just isn't, it's a world I enjoy, it's got a fucking good story, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's really engaging, I'm not gonna lie, as well. Like the, and it has that kind of Minecraft, like, touch to it, which is really addictive, too. And it's just, oh, I don't know, it's something so... Just something so damn good about it. I, I just really fucking like it, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I generally have been literally playing it, like, non-stop as of late. Um, I sit down and play it for a bit, and I play it for, like, about three hours of sit up, and I'm like, what time is it, or what year is it, even? It's like, I don't know, I just get so into it. It's so bloody good. Da, 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 da. What are we looking at, Booker's? Okay, it was still good on swords, I think. Do, 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 do. He never gets that many points, does he? My points aren't too bad. Um, I think all the swords again. Uh, I think we're going to focus on courage later on, but we should be all good. Ooh, dang son, that's all good. Okay, but um, yeah, so... Oh, there it is. That's literally the place I'm going to go for. Can I hop down at all? Oh, yes, I can. Nice. Um, but honestly, Dragon Quest Builders, honestly, guys and gals, it generally probably would be one of my favorite games of the year. Um... Bear in mind, this is a game a year where I've played a, a very weird collection of games. Uh, welcome to the Lakeside Cabin. It's a wonderful place for travelers on their way to a scamper and pick them to have a rest. I believe there actually is a couple of items in here, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, honestly, I, I generally if, would say if you really enjoy the Dragon Quest games and you actually, I'd say if, as long as you enjoy Minecraft, you would really actually like the game. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a genuine good experience. I was very surprised at how well it came out and stuff. It's, oh, it's so good. I remember a friend of mine telling me about it and I was like, that sounds shite. And I was I, I I I bought it recently because of the fact they kept they sold out everywhere. It like I don't know if you guys live in the UK at all, but in the UK they like disappeared everywhere. Like copies of it are going up for like sixty or quid, but brand new and stuff. And I was like fuck. So I went to the city and I bought a brand new copy of forty quid, um, using like some game credit stuff from trading in games and stuff. And as I was like oh my god, I had to get it and stuff. Cause I, I just I, I when them kind of games come along where I like them and I know they're going out of stock and they're going to become more expensive, I kind of feel the need to get them sooner. Um, and yeah, so anyway, um, if you keep going south uh, like, uh, south along the path, you'll come to a town called Pickham. I, I wouldn't bother though if you are with you. It's full of down and outs and thieves that you see. Everyone who has their misfortune to set foot in the place uh, wishes they had. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay, um, what we'll do actually, we'll quickly have a nap here. How much here? Well, what are we here? Customers, are ya? I am indeed. Um, 40 gold. Mm -hmm. Oh, why not? I, I, I could do with a little bit of a boost to health, I suppose. Um, Actually, MP as well, to be fair. Uh, but, um, yeah. No, honestly, guys and guys, I would, I, sorry, I, just, I, I keep, I generally keep. Did I sleep till, did I, sleep, did I just rest until, I don't know, I did. I, I can't focus, guys, why can't I focus? Um, I really am sorry for the past few episodes, I felt like just me really, 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 really rambling as of late. Um, <gasps> it's a chest. Um, oh, the monster, what the hell are you? Is that a, I think clockwork thing magic. Um, cool. I guess we can actually come back here later on when we come to get our ship and stuff. But um, yeah. Um, oh, I haven't seen hood in a while. Um, what was except, but no, honestly, if you guys and gals uh, really obviously do enjoy the. Uh, what am I talking about? If you guys and gals really do enjoy the Dragon Quest series as a whole, and you do genuinely enjoy Minecraft, I, I would definitely recommend it. Seriously, it's such a such a swanky game. I've genuinely been addicted to it, and I just I would personally recommend it. That's my 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 thing of it, I guess. But then again, I, I'm I'm actually not that far into it, like uh, chapter wise. I think there's like four chapters altogether, and I haven't actually finished the first one yet, uh, which is kind of a given because they're kind of the kind of games which will take a while to kind of go through. Because it's like Minecraft, there's not really kind of like a limit to what you can do. Thus, you feel the need to do everything and stuff, which is literally but what I've been doing. I've been trying to build near everything in the entire game. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, sorry, I've been jabbering on way too much. Let's focus on the game again. Um, do 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 do. 
Okay, if you go back to doing the Twin Dragon last turn, I'm doing the Hood actually be fair, because it might make it easier. <coughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, guys and guys, I hope you guys have a lovely 2017 so far. Enjoying your time, and, uh, not hating my goddamn rambled on commentary too much, because you guys, you guys are pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. You have, you have, you lot have made my, um, 2016 a lot brighter, I'm not gonna lie. It's been, I don't get me wrong, I've had a, I've had a decent year, it's been an alright one for me, but, um, I don't know, like I was saying before, I've, I said, like, I've had a good year, but, um, I said in the previous episode about that, and, um, but yeah, I mean, you guys have been a tremendous part of my year, it's kind of, it's such a, just now kind of come to me how much you guys have been a part of and stuff, like, us reaching a thousand subscribers before Christmas was absolutely fantastic, um, and honestly, it's been, been a really unexpected journey having YouTube, like, doing YouTube stuff, like, I generally never expected it really to get very far at all, I kind of, like, prayed it would ever get me, like, enough recognition to sort of, like, hopefully earn back the money which I had like spent on the stuff which is I know is a selfish thing to say I, I mean a lot of you guys don't really like to hear and like I talk on YouTube but um it's true I mean I kind of aimed to sort of like I aimed to do it as a hobby but aimed to sort of also maybe potentially earn back money uh, back the money sorry uh, which I sort of spent on my equipment and stuff which is about 700, 700, 700 odd quid and stuff but I expected not to get that for a very long time oh hello there's a cheeky old chest over there I may as well grab that to be fair while I'm on the way but um ooh ah uh, so I, I would let them go, but I'm I'm a bastard. I'm gonna take them down. I okay, got flame slash on that one. Uh, Yang's attack abilities. You twin dragon lash those bad boys. Um, but um, yeah. I mean, I I, I generally I generally never expect it's gonna get to this point, you know, at all. To be fair. So I mean, that 700 pounds is 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 not a mark I've actually reached as of yet. I don't think so. I'm more on the. I think I made about 350 pounds ish, if not a bit less. It's probably much less than that. It's probably more around the area of 220, I'd say. Um. Yeah, so it's been. It, don't be wrong. I, I'm probably never going to eventually ever get to that point of actually making the 700 pounds back from my YouTube account, just to sort of like you know, as a thing. But um, yeah, I don't know. I I just I just never expected to get to a thousand subscribers at all. To be fair, I kind of I always subconsciously thought, oh, this is never going to work. People never like my content. But I am generally happy that you guys are enjoying and stuff. And it generally does mean a lot to me that you guys do watch and stuff. And yeah, I know. I mean, 2017 really does give you a, like turning to a new year. Always gives you the chance to reflect and sort of like see. Oh, you bastard! You jammy bastard! You made me waste my time going over here when it's a fucking magic key. You wah. Um, basically, we need another different variation for the, of the key for that bad boy. Ugh. Anyway. Um. But uh, yeah. Anyway. But um, it's been a good year. A good year for me, guys and gals, and I, I really appreciate you guys kind of helping it become a good year and stuff. You guys have generally made it one of the best years I've had in my life. To be fair. So anyway, I hope, I hope uh, next year will be equally as, as fantastic. I'm, I be. Mean, Amazed if we managed to hit an actual like, you know, I, I like I, I was about to say I'd be amazed if we hit like a huge landmark by next year, but I could I could hope we'd maybe make two thousand by next year, like as in like this time next year, maybe like first of January next year, but um, and I, I would call that a huge landmark. Don't be wrong, but I'd say I dealt with a huge landmark like another zero if that makes sense. Like obviously going from a thousand to ten thousand, I highly doubt we'll actually get that high by next year. We might, I, I have no idea, but. I don't know, I, 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 have the, I don't have any faith in myself in all fairness, so I, I highly doubt we actually will, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to... Did I use that on one guy? I didn't know who it was, that's right. Um, but yeah, I don't know, you guys are basically fantastic. I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm rambling so much, guys and gals, I don't know what it is, but my my mind's all over the place. I feel like I'm focused on trying to figure out if I was happy with a scan for or not. It's New Year's, I'm trying to talk about that, I'm trying to talk about metaphorical stuff, saying about how happy I am, and I, I'm generally really... really it's really, it's really weird how happy I am, even though I'm like, I don't know. It's been, it's been a good year. It's been a good year. Cannot complain. Thoust cannot complain. Anyway, let's focus on the uh, the fucking task at hand. We're gonna see our, well, my fucking favorite character for the bloody entire game in a second. Oh, I, I love this man. I love this man so much. You guys should hopefully know who I mean, depending on where, like, as to where we're now going. Um, I may actually make a whole episode on just the monster arena as a whole, because I probably will go. Monster hunting as soon as I go here. I might actually, might actually do that now. Yeah, I might actually make a, because the rest of this episode is probably gonna be filled on us getting to this area right here, um, meeting this character, doing other stuff, blah 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 blah, and then I will probably just kind of just plow through and get a bunch of monsters and get them all ready, because um, there are some much much better ones in the future which we won't be able to get yet, but we will be able to get some pretty good ones now, which I'm not gonna lie. One of them, one of which I know is one of the best ones I can potentially get. So. I'm quite looking forward to getting that bad boy, I'm not gonna lie. Aww. That also does mean we have to actually defeat the people I want to capture and stuff, which is gonna be a strenuous task. I do love how like the simplistic the uh, enemies are, he actually tells you to capture in a second, it's quite unique and stuff, but anyhow, mini demon. 
or like mini mini uh who cares <laughs> all right but um but no, honestly, guys and guys, I do generally hope you all have a fantastic New Year's and stuff. I, I generally am very excited to bring it on myself. Uh, I'll be interested to see how it will go. Uh, just sort of see, you know, what we can come up, come up with you guys, like, us doing the YouTube channel and stuff together. And just see, you know, what happens. Oh, I'm uh, pretty mad hype for it, I'm not gonna lie. Now you hear the fireworks going outside, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Dun 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 dun. Dum 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 dum. God, we are so we are so tanking this right now. Christ. Nicely done, Yangus. I like it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Um. Yeah, guys and guys. I'm, I'm gonna say this one more time, though. I really am sorry for like if I have rambled at all like during my time of just doing all this, because. I, I, I love you guys a bit, and for some reason I'm just quite excited if that makes sense at the moment. I'm not sure I could have like some kind of sugar or some shim some shit, but anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, meet one of the most amazing characters for this entire game. And by the way, I am incredibly jealous of all you 3DS players out there who are going to get to play as this bloody fantastic character. Ah, oh, you bastards. Dot 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 Hmm, okay. Clearly he doesn't want to speak to me. You come to see me, and I ignore you. What was I thinking? Come, speak, I listen. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Mori. Here, I borrow my ears to the wind. I hear it on the wind. There is someone magnifico come here soon. So, ragazzo, you are a traveler, see? Then I ask you one favor. Here, take this. The party requires free memos. When we have finished talking, eh, you take a look at these memos, eh? Each one has written on the information of the notorious monsters. <laughs> Find them, fight them, send them to me! It is not to worry, ragazzo. For you, it will be a slice of cake. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. <laughs> Buona fortuna and good hunting. Oh, god damn it! That man, I, that man could take my uh, my homosexual virginity any fucking day. He's oh, I, I love Mori. I don't know why I adore him so much, but he's so he's so goddamn cool. Anyway, so Mori's place. All right, so yeah, so basically, um, I'm gonna class this as kind of our next mission per se, because I don't really, I'm not really in a huge rush to get to pick him, because I don't really have too much of a need for us to even get there anytime. Anyway, so have a look at the. Uh, Mori, uh, memo number one. Uh, book of picks up Mori memo number one. Hmm. Name smiles, type slime. A uh, slime is Casanova and, uh, all over, just as quickly. Uh, spotted near a dilapid dilapidated... Oh, wait, can we not... Wait, what? Dilapidated castle? Oh, wait, can we not... Hang on, hang on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hang on. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Fuck, okay, fine. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, I press square, I didn't press square, I could go back. Anyway, um, hold up, so... I know where this, because Lonely Joe, well, this is the one we've actually seen before. Um... Yeah, we've we've met Lonely Joe before. Uh, that's the one near my Abbey, so... Wait, well, it's the Broken Down Castle, so that... Oh, we have to go to bloody... Really? Uh, Book of Picks and Mama, 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 number three. Um... Like a, like a wriggling plate of spaghetti tossed into your face. Uh, spot of the mortar's edge near a lady bandit's lair. So we have to go like actually to future kind of places. That's a shame. Um, okay. Uh, okay, never mind. I, I was hoping to do that beforehand. I actually completely... F Shit. I, I, I guess fine. Um, I was hoping to do that before we actually did go to pick him. But by the way, we have to go to pick him first anyway. So what I might do, guys and gals, as much as we get to pick him, I'm going to do probably quite a hefty, hefty little grind esque session. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably go around and get all the monsters and stuff, like all them monsters, monsters. Um, get all those bad boys and kind of probably 
then in the next episode we'll kind of like introduce the monster team and then after that after kind of done the monster team part of the beginning we'll probably do summer pick them and then between the them episodes after that i'll probably then try and sort of like plow through and do some of paprikans uh paprikans hey oh um yeah, and then try and do some of the some of the pick'em stuff, and after that, I'll probably just try and go around hunting down some more monsters. But yeah, anyway, sorry, I, just, I was pondering. Then I was like, hmm, hmm. yeah, I, I completely forgot we actually did have to go that far to actually get all those bad boys. It's a shame because I, oh, I love I love the monster team section. I was just kind of hoping to kind of do all that now, but anywho, it does not matter. It was not me. It was my tea. All right, let's plow down these bad boys. Alright. Alright. Just go. Oh, Crackle! That's what I'm talking about. Crackle's actually a pretty swanky move, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so. Yeah, so now we need to swank up these staffs. The staffs. Oh, yeah. Uh, accelerate. Oh, cool, 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 cool. That's actually pretty bad. That actually does kind of give us a hand to kind of have some extra abilities on our stuff. Um, sweet. Yeah, we'll focus on getting to. Pick them first. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, my mind is. Oh, I love this game to bits, but Jesus Christ! I mean, the, the amount of like offers I have now to do different stuff. It's like oh, blah, blah, my mind's going all over the place. It's like doing different things. Anyway, mini demons appear. But yeah, so sweet. That's kind of my game plan now, though. Get to pick them. Do some kind of story stuff, and probably in the next episode, uh, well, between episodes, kind of get all some geblins and all that shebang. Be, be ready, you know, be ready for the wide world and that stuff. Anyway, let's uh, take down some mini demons or diamonds. As well as Joan, I'm a wee bit hungry, so I might actually. I, 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 I think right now, I mean, I think a scan has flown out of my mind. I'm just generally quite devastated. I can't do the whole Mori stuff right now. Well, I, I can, but I have to kind of be a little bit cheeky and go to areas which I will do in the future. I don't really want to spoil that just yet. I don't even know if we can actually get to the Dissipated Castle, if you guys don't know where that is. Oh, I wonder which castle's been destroyed by vines and had a king in there called King Trode. Um, I'm a little bit devastated, but I generally am a little bit disappointed, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not too fussed about, you know, doing all that stuff later on. But anyhow, we'll focus on Pig'em for now. God damn it, Mori is a beautiful man, though, I'm not gonna lie, he's just, uh, he is, he is a beautiful man. He's like, the guys, oh, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually generally saying I'm attracted to, um, uh, to Mori, but I, I just love, I just love the way he speaks, I love the way he acts, I just love the way he is. He's like, ragazzo, you are ragazzo, I don't, I, I, I can't, I can't do an Italian accent for shit, but, oh, oh holy dang, I haven't seen one, I haven't seen one of them do that for a while. Okay, actually, he could die now, hopefully, because... Oof. Okay, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna do a just a quick heal on Booker just to make sure he's got double healing. I know Angelo should heal him straight away, but just in case. Oh, beautiful dumb. Ah, nice dumb boys. That's fucking on it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I've got, oh yeah, I've, there's so much. Ah, oh, there's some. Ah, oh. I think. Okay, I, I have to admit, ladies and gentlemen, before we okay before we actually go in, before we go in, um. I think right now, I generally am feeling a tiny bit overwhelmed by this game, if that makes sense. I, I, I'm kind of trying to, because after we left the scan fair, I've, I had like a gut feeling that I needed to do something and stuff, and I kind of like, I wasn't satisfied with the scan fair. I've been trying to settle down as to what that actually is. And right now, I generally think I'm kind of getting a bit unsettled by the game. Not unsettled, but un... Uh, just sort of unnerved by the games, because there's so much to do. Overwhelm, overwhelm, that's what I said before, yeah. Um, it's just because there's so much to do. I need to get because I'm now going to pick them. I need to consider all the weapons on our stuff. I now want to do the monster stuff. I need to get ready for the next dungeon. I know we have to go back to a scamper to do some other stuff later on. And it's like in my mind, I'm trying to like plan it all out, and it's really hard to because I've kind of forgotten where it all like falls into place. But um, yeah, I'm not. I'm, don't be wrong. I'm not I'm not worried and or complaining about this game at all. I adore it. I've, I just I, I could follow this game to the end. Of the oh no! I just remember something as well. I don't think we can get to. Yeah, we, I don't think we can get to um, the castle, Trodane Castle, until we get past the extra part with... Can we? I don't think we can. I don't see, oh, oh, we can't get the castle. Oh, 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 that's a shame. Wait. 
Oh no, because we need the. Oh, we know. Oh, because we need the bow. Ah. Oh. Dang, I, I, I was going to do the monsters. But, oh, I can't even do that because I need the boat first. That's a shame. Hello, doggy. He woofs. Um, anyway, no, but, no honestly, guys, I, I, I just want to 100% make sure this is clear. I'm not criticizing the game at all. I just generally think my mind right now is trying to like complicatedly try and sort this stuff out. But that actually does kind of help some stuff out. Because that doesn't mean I don't have to focus on the monsters quite yet. I might in the break just kind of get the two I know where they are quickly just for the sake of it. Uh, to save me doing later on. There's a lot of area for us to explore now as well, for, well, for me to explore off camera to get a lot of extra governs and stuff. So I might do that now, I'm not too sure. Well, after all this stuff. Anyway. Oh, my mind's overwhelmed with stuff. Well, Yangus, at least you were right about something. No one here so much as bats an eyelid at me. So, the pub awaits. I'll go on ahead, and I wouldn't want to get in your way. You'll go and find this brains fellow. I'll be waiting for your report. Waiting? Boozing, more like. Come on, Cub. Let's forget about him and head over to Brains's. Some of us have got to keep our minds on the job, eh? We gotta find that Dalmagus. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pick'em. Now, oddly enough, we've kind of spawned away from where we were two seconds ago. Anyway, so this place is actually full of quite a few unique uh, characters and as well quite a few unique kind of situations, namely the casino and that bloke over there. Now, to be honest, what I might do, guys and guys, I'm actually gonna quickly save up and. Actually. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> my mind. Whew. I, I genuinely think that something's kind of got. I think I've just genuinely got a little bit excited playing this game, and I'm like, oh, I kind of want to do everything at once. It's just anyway, chill, chill. Anyway, so I apologize for this, guys and gals. It's kind of me getting a bit overwhelmed with stuff, and I'm being silly. Anyway, guys and gals, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this episode here. And I'm gonna make a full episode out of Pick'em because Pick'em is quite a hefty place and it's actually a fair amount of things to collect. Do all that shebang, blah 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 blah. And an episode after that, we'll then decide to kind of get all the shebang and kind of collect some things, as in from outside of Pick'em, and we all good. Anyway, guys and guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll be smiling after once again. You guys are amazing, beautiful, and perfect as ever. Hope you guys have a lovely day now. If you what you guys are doing right now, and hope to see you guys in the next one. So, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. C'est la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye. Oh, ciao.